Welcome to this Hope to Go. Today I want to talk to you about no matter what. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you felt like, man, my back is against the wall and I need God? Well, I want you to know that God is faithful. And I want to give you four things that can help you if you find yourself in a lion's den situation. From the life of the Old Testament man of God, Daniel, we are able to see the faithfulness of God. And I believe that they are the same ingredients today to unleash the faithfulness of God in your life. Now, Daniel, when, the, when he heard the edict that everyone who prays to another God or anything else is going to be thrown into the lion's den, listen to what happened in Daniel's life. And if you're up against the wall, I believe God is going to also rescue you in this hope to go. Number one, if that's your situation, you need a radical God vision and a no-nonsense prayer life. Daniel 6.10 says, Now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went home. Did you hear that? And in his upper room with his window open toward Jerusalem, he knelt down on his knees three times that day and prayed and gave thanks before his God, as was his custom since early days. Before Daniel ever took one step towards the lion's den, he had already envisioned the victory of coming out. That means you have to see something other people don't see. You have to have the ability to see the end before you begin. David had a revelation that he could see Goliath lying headless on the ground before he ever put the rock in his slingshot. You got to see yourself healed, prospering, no matter what you're going through. The anointed man of God, the woman of God, sharing the gospel and setting captives free. See your children saved and filled with the Holy Ghost on fire for God. See yourself walking in wisdom, joy, and peace and the divine favor of God. But number two, you got to have a God-relying expectation. Without an expectation, there's no manifestation. Daniel 6.16 6, says, So the king gave the command, and they brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lions. But the king spoke, saying to Daniel, Listen to this. Your God, whom you serve continually, he will deliver you. My goodness, what a powerful statement. Daniel expected God to do something, to show up. Daniel expected God's power to be manifested. Today, God wants you to raise your level of expectation. You have to believe to see. Jesus told Mary and Martha, did I not tell you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? Now, let's take it to the next level. Number three, you got to have a no other option desperation. You see, thirsty people get filled, desperate people get healed. Daniel 6, 17 says it this way. Then the stone was brought and laid on the mouth of the den. This is lions in a den, not in the wild. Lions are not in dens. They were in captivity. And the king sealed it with his own signet ring and with the signet ring of the Lord's that the purpose concerning Daniel might not be changed. Wow. Daniel's thrown into the lion's den. I need you to just shout right now, throw me in. Because watch what happens. Daniel's life depended on God answering and showing up, not man. Daniel wasn't trying to make a deal with God. You get me out of this and I will. You fill in the blank. We need to come to God with the same sense of boldness, confidence, and desperation. God, I'm desperate for you. As soon as Daniel got into the lion's den, the lions recognized him. Why? Daniel was from the lion, tribe of Judah. As belonging to the lion of the tribe of Judah, lions do not eat lions. So they did not touch Daniel. Oh, I love this. Number four, you got to have a sober, sold out, surrendered heart. Daniel 6, 21, 23 says it this way. Then Daniel said to the king, oh, king, live forever. You need to say that to your king. Oh, Jesus, live forever. My God sent his angels and shut the lion's mouth so that they have not hurt me because I was found innocent before him. And also, O oh, king, I have done no wrong before you. Now the king was exceedingly glad for him, and he commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. Now watch this. So Daniel was taken up out of the den, and no injury whatsoever was found on him because he believed in his God. A lot of people talk about serving God as long as it's convenient for them. Then when things get hard, they quit. They bail out. 
not Daniel. God is looking for some people that have some grit that will make up their minds. For better or for worse, I'm committed and I am resigned to follow Jesus. Daniel had his mind made up and God brought him out. 624 says it this way, and the king gave the command and they brought those men who had accused Daniel and they cast them into the den now. Now their children and their wives and the lions overpowered them and broke all their bones in pieces before they ever hit the bottom. Wow, if you're going to dare to be a Daniel, hey, everybody that goes in what you're going through ain't coming out where you coming out as long as you believe in your God. <laughs> and that's your hope to go.